I'm making my gourmet mac and cheese. Oh. Gourmet. Okay. So we got some new kind of high-ender cheeses. Okay. And starting with one of my favorite ingredients, obviously mac and cheese and bacon go hand in hand. They do. But I'm using pancetta, which is a non-smoke but still cured salty peppery. Uh, pork belly product that's really great, especially dice. And we rendered out all that fat here in a nice large brazier because we're going to use this to actually plate our mac and cheese in, in a little bit. As Trisha Yearwood would say, is is that pancetta? Pancetta, it is not. Pancetta. It's pancetta, but oh, you can call it pancetta. Oh, it's pancetta. It's pancetta, man. It's pancetta. What are you talking about? It's pancetta. All right, so we're going to take this out. We're going to reserve a tablespoon of that beautiful render fat in there mm -hmm. to help. Uh, and that looks like a tablespoon. I'm not even going to take any more out of that. Um, and to even make it more decadent, we are going to add four tablespoons of butter and make a oh, roux here. Oh, what? Mm -hmm. Just excuse. Do it. Yeah, OK. I know there's nothing too fancy about butter, but I think mac and cheese needs butter in there. It does, it does. Sounds beautiful. And now we're going to add flour. Okay. and whisk this until it's nice and kind of blonde. Mm -hmm. I think not too dark with your roots for your mac and cheese, because we're making a white sauce here. Sonny, while I'm doing this, can you grate some yes. cheese for me? I have mm -hmm. some blue cheese, which adds a nice funk to it. Uh, we have some Gruyere and some Havarti, uh, and this is grated Fontina. Oh, okay. Fancy So you got creamy, are... you got funky, you got melty, and you got like aged and nutty. So it's like a, a beautiful combination of flavors. All right, once we kind of get this to the color we need, we're going to add a couple more ingredients in here. Just a couple cloves of garlic grated on a rasp, and some Dijon mustard to give it some zip. And then we'll whisk that in. Make sure that garlic cooks just ever so slightly. Perfect. I smell it. Then we got some whole milk. Not the 2%, the whole, Jeff. Yeah, what's the point of, you What's know, the point? I mean, we've got four <laughs> cups of cheese. All right, so we're going to bring like this to a simmer, and then we're going to add all our cheese. Yeah. A little hot sauce in here, right? Oh. It's hey, a lot. It's not a lot. Look at beautiful. Gives it a nice little thing. We're going to bring this to a simmer, right? It's going to thicken up like all of our great sauces do. Now we can add the mac and cheese in our warm bechamel right here. Yeah, so it is So we got bechamel. our, remember, we got our a little bit of blue cheese, some grated fontina, great, silky, really easily melty cheese. Funky. Some gruyere, which Funky. is that nuttiness, and Havarti, which again is nicely little aged, beautiful flavor. Okay, that's all a white. I like your cheese to sauce ratio. Well, hey, you know. Yes. Uh, Cheese, please. Every little bit. Sonny, you did so much work writing that cheese. Thank I don't you. want to leave any soldiers left behind here. Go, go, gadget elbow. Now we can start just kind of folding this in till it melts. There's no need to cook this any further. This just needs to heat up until you see it starting to string and everything. And that's when you want to start seasoning, too. Because remember, say, if you season before you have the cheese, you don't know how salty your cheese is going to be once it melts in there. And it could be very salty. So look at this beautiful got some heat going. Mm. Okay, here we go. So now we got a big bowl of under, slightly undercooked super al dente cavatappi pasta. Right. You can use any macaroni you want for this. I just love this. It looks fun. It catches a lot of that sauce. Mm -hmm. It stays, it's very resilient pasta. So when we do bake it in a minute, it's not gonna overcook in the oven. Dare I but say look at that. Cavatappi in the building. Cavatappi in the building, baby. <laughs> look at that. All of that's going in. All of it. Every some inch of that in there. Scallions. That was crazy. Beautiful. So now we're going to mix this up and put it back into our brazier here. Oh, right? You okay, can use more. a 9 by 14. You can use whatever you got. But I like to just kind of kiss this in a little. It doesn't need too much heat in there. We just want all that cheese to melt and kind of uh, homogeneously marry each other. And then we can uh, top it with just that pancetta, which is crispy, but still a little under, like, super crispy. It'll finish up in the oven. You know what I'm going to do, actually? Mm, get it. While it's in there, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, too. Season it a little more. Mm. <laughs> you know, I, I see you salivating over there. It's kind of embarrassing, but. You're, you're, I'm, I'm just, I, you know, my, my goal in life is to impress you with the, you know, the normal stuff, Jeffrey. So I like I that you, you use like a beautiful, gorgeous bowl to mix it before I you. I know. Mm -hmm. I thought that's that very was a serving bowl. Yeah. I know you oh, didn't think it was going to fit in here. It We're going to smooth it out. And then we are going to top it with that pancetta, which we just kind of let drain. This and is all of it. Amazing. All of it. All of it. Oh, 
This is going to give us a little more fat, a little more decadence, and of course, texture, which I think mac and cheese needs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Especially if I'm not like baking an entire half inch crust of cheese on the top. So it's going in the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes, right? Just it all comes together and that pancetta crisps up even more. I got one ready to go right here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Minced chives or some extra color. A little, you know, little get pop some vegetables. of vegetables. <laughs> a little vegetable. You gotta eat your greens. You gotta eat your greens. Now we can serve it up here. All right. Sonny, you beautiful. will do the honors, but Sunny's let's see like what we're right. looking like. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Slow is it a spoon Joe. or is it a fork? This is I don't know. Nice. I would, I would yeah. say just use your hands, man. These are, it's got to be, it can't be too wet. Mac cheese. I don't like wet mac cheese. No, and I don't like dry don't? mac and cheese. No, it's a balance there, right? You got to be I, very. I like it soupy sometimes, oh, you know, and oh. then sometimes I just want it like really, a, I just want to slice into it like it. a, yeah. a well-rested lasagna. But this is a nice middle ground of like a wet and a really nice um, tight, if you will, and cheesy. Mac and oh, man alive, look at that. It's so nice because the blue cheese doesn't smack you in Some the face chives. the way that you think it would. Mm -hmm. It just comes through with that thing that blue cheese does. It's got that kind of like a tinny, bitter, you know, thing that's happening in here that goes so well with the creamy cheese sauce that would be excellent as a fondue cheese. And then you get those little crispy nuggets of salty piggy goodness over the top. Here, oh, that's funny, okay. 